This movie will show how to build such a tube in geometry module and make a hexagonal mesh from it in mesh module. Mesh quality control functions will be shown in parallel. Let's start Salome and activate geometry module. Here, let's create three points to be the coordinate basis. Now, let's call 2D sketch function. Here, we put the sketch points by coordinates. See that the segments appear in 3D Viewer. See that building the sketch with angles and other options are also possible. See the new segment with an angle. Let's create more segments by coordinates. And now click Sketch Closure button to form the area inside the created sketch segments. Now let's make the face from the sketch. That's it. Now let's build a revolution shape from the face just created. Well, the face is already selected, so just select the axis and type the angle to be 360 degrees. Now, let's put some fillets onto the tube. Hexagonal mesh can be built only on simple subshapes. So before meshing, we will have to create additional geometry and split the tube into simple parts. Let's extract the circular edge, which will be necessary for splitting. We will need this one. The future splitting will require four vertices as well. Let's extract them with explode function. Choose here the vertices as the type. Activate selecting subshapes in order to extract only the selected vertices. Select these four vertices and click apply and close. For the future splitting, let's make a cylindrical face, extruding the circle that we extracted before.
call extrusion function, select the circle, the vector, type the height, activate reverse checkbox, and then click apply and close button. Now, create additionally 8 planes, also intended for the future splitting. Well, let's make the planes transparent for better view. Now let's call partition function to split the tube into several simple volumes. See that it's possible to change transparency, color and numbers of ISO lines in order to better see the shapes in 3D viewer. See that it's possible to check geometrical properties, such as volume, center of gravity, inertial matrix, dimensions, etc. Let's now activate mesh module. Here, let's create the mesh container with mesh parameters. Set 1D meshing algorithm to split every edge into 10 segments. Set 2D algorithm to split every face into quadrangles. Set 3D algorithm to split every volume into hexahedrons and click apply and close button. See that the mesh container has appeared in the data tree at the left. Let's select it, call pop-up menu and click compute item there. 
Ok, the mesh is ready. Let's close the information dialog box and show only the mesh. Let's check now the mesh information. Let's now apply a clipping plane to look inside the mesh. Activate Auto Apply. Now we can move and rotate the plane, dragging it with the mouse. See that the mesh consists only of hexahedral elements, there are no triangles in it. See that there are several display modes to better view the model. See that we can hide and show independently volumes, faces and edges and use transparency for better viewing. As well, there are mesh quality controls showing the values of various mesh parameters in colors. Here you are, for example, the volumes of elements. Here you are aspect ratios. Here you are minimum angles. Well, they are all red exactly 90 degrees. That's all. Thank you for your attention.